How's that for a comeback, y'all? Really? You're gonna make it rain on the frickin' first island I come back to? I guess I deserve it after the long wait I gave you guys. Uh, I guess that's my cue to jump in. Hi everyone! Argon Matrix here, back again with part 61 of Let's Play The Wind Waker. Uh, jeez Louise, it's been such a long time. I know that long time's not really gonna match. Let's do this platform over here first, I'm in the mood. Uh, yeah, that long time's not really gonna matter to people watching this playlist back, like, in the future. Thankfully, the storm's subsiding. I didn't want to start on that crap. But, for anyone watching this fresh as it comes out, it's been a long-ass time. Like, just compare the dates, the published dates on the videos. Like, this video and then the last video, and you'll just see that, my god, I've been such an asshole about it. I think these platforms might actually have something special on them, I'm not sure. I remember them being... I don't know, I just noticed that the other one didn't really have a ladder to climb up to it. By the way, we are currently at this square here, in case you were wondering, since there's really no frame of reference for that up to this point. Nicely placed cans, you can't really shoot me off the ladder with those, yet dummies. But man, oh, it feels good to get back in the saddle again. I pr I'm pretty much just... <laughs> Literally hopping right back into it here, right in the... I'm on dead of night, really. Is there actually nothing up here? Like, no monsters up here? Couldn't have possibly already done this. I, it looks like I'm gonna have to Deku Leaf my way over there. Which is fine by me. Let's just see what we got over here first. Man, I've... Jeez. Like, I've been gone so long that Wind Waker HD has been announced and has come out. Like, it wasn't announced last time I made a video on this, I don't think. That's just... It boggles my mind that I would leave it hanging for so long, and I'm so sorry about that, but... Just personal issues, mostly, uh... This really isn't the place to talk about them, I suppose, because... In the far-flung future, that's not gonna matter too much to people now, is it? Alright, uh, I guess I should probably bomb out the cannons here. But man... <laughs> Seriously, just about the first thing I noticed when I got... When I loaded up this file again, is that... I only have a maximum count of 30 arrows in my quiver. I think the reason for that is, like, I remember in my mind wanting to delay... put... wanting to delay getting the arrow upgrades from the Great Fairies. Because, if... The, <laughs> spoiler alert, the last two Great Fairies that we have to visit uh, give you both... Uh, they both give you quiver upgrades. But, um, I remember putting them off because I think one of them needs the Skull Hammer. And I didn't have it at the point that I like want to, was going and collecting all those fairy upgrades and stuff. So yeah, for at least one of these fairy islands, I'm pretty sure you need the skull hammer, which means you can't get it until after the Forsaken Fortress, which is fine now because uh, we're actually a pretty decent ways into this game. I completely didn't realize that I had left it off at such a strange point in the game, but yeah, here we are. And as far as I know, like I pretty much just watched the last video to get myself all caught up on what I was actually doing. And even then, I'm still not entirely sure. Oh man, it feels good, this combat again, beating these guys' freaking jaw extended faces out. Oh man, off the edge again! Oh, I feel so good. Hey buddy! See ya! My platform now, man. I don't think this actually has anything special, I think it was just a fun, like, set of platforms. I remember it being fun because of that Deku Leaf thing. Oh, Boko Baba Seed. Neato. Yeah, but... So forgive me for the rest of this LP if I, like, uh... Because, like, obviously I haven't recorded this in months. I haven't even played this in months. Like, I haven't played Wind Waker HD or anything. So my memory of things is going to be quite hazy as to what I have and haven't done. I have a general idea just by looking, like, through my items and whatnot. But as for, like, heart pieces and treasure charts, I'm just going to have to sort of do it as it comes. And if I end up doing the same thing that I've already done before in the LP, then that's probably just... I'm probably just going to cut that out, but still. It would be very silly of me. Make me feel like a jackass for sure. Mm. Okay, which way was the island? It's over there. I'm going totally the wrong way. And, uh, oh yeah, my fishy friend here. My fishy, fishy friend. Do I even remember the voice I gave this guy? I don't know, I'm not... Oh my god, I need more bait. I need to stop by Beetle at the earliest... Is that Beetle over there, or is that just a cannon ship? I think it's just a cannon ship. He ain't gonna sell me no bait, unless he happens to be... <laughs> the nicest cannon ship on the seven seas here. 
likelihood of that is not very high. Holy yeah. oh, smell, frat! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I, yeah, but uh, I don't need to read that. That's default text. Get back into the habit of things. That's basically what this whole video is going to be, is just me talking about, oh, I need to get into the habit of things. Thorn Fairy Island. Notable that it's not that it's the only fairy island that doesn't correlate with a cardinal direction. Old, yeah, I, I actually got one of those on the platform. What about it? <laughs> the Rito Ladies. Oh, man, I can get myself a feathered girlfriend. Not that I'm into that sort of thing, you know, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, have I even done that side quest? I'm sure I probably have. Well, I guess I can just check, like, uh, like my spoils back here. No. Um. Oh, maybe I haven't done that, because I, I can't imagine getting, like, 20 golden feathers for that side quest, and then getting 21 more on top of that. That'd just be a bit ludicrous. Yeah, yeah. Alright, not beetle. Just don't pay me any mind. I'm just gonna get this. I always thought that it was very peculiar, because the Thorn Fairy Island, the, I guess this island up here, this little circular one, is the Thorn. And I always thought it was very peculiar, because there's really nothing up there on that island. And I think, there is a way to get to it, I think. But, uh, there's really no point to getting up there, except to just explore for exploration's sake, I guess. Alright, I don't think these are timed or anything. I think you just have to, you know, have to hit them in it's not 23 is number 1 or anything. You can do it in any order you please. You can do 34 is number 9 if you want. If you feel like acc according them with the numbers 3, 4, and 9. Which would be a very interesting combination of numbers. But, anyways, great fairy. Second last world in the game, if I am, if my memory serves me. Which it very well might not. But I have the wall upgrades, I have the bomb upgrades, I have pretty much everything, so... I can't imagine that I'm missing one, unless there's just one completely random one that I'm not thinking of right now. But we got the quiver upgrade! We can carry up to 60 arrows wherever you go. That's probably enough. I mean, 30 arrows is probably enough to get you through the, through the game, honestly. And I probably already went, said this about the bombs, too, the bomb upgrades. But, you know, part of 100%, get 99 bombs and arrows. Plus, it's just a nice number to see. You never get that many in any other game that I can think of. Alright, well, I've probably rambled in one long take here for long enough with that platform and now this island, so I'm just going to go ahead and meet you guys at the last fairy island, which is going to be right up here next to Rock Spire Island. So, see you then. Whoa, hey, hey, hold on a second. What is this now? What is this? It's like that freaking boat from Paper Mario. The embers? Dude, this is scary. What's going on? No, man! Where'd it go? I can just barely hear that ghostly music. The TV's just barely loud enough. This is actually quite an uncommon sight with, like... If you don't have... I'm just gonna spoil it for you now. There is, like, an item that you get later on that makes it easier to track down the ghost ship. And I think you actually need that item in order to get... Like, do anything with the ghost ship. But... Wow, that's an uncommon occurrence to just find it, unless you can really narrow down those hints from the fish. I guess it's not too uncommon if you just, like, listen to one hint and then play the song passing until you get the right mood phase there or some shit. But it's way more fun and way more exhilarating if you just run into it at random like that. That's cool. By the way, I described this uh, island as being west of Rockspire Island. What I probably should have said that would have made more sense is that it's northwest of Great Fish Isle, because you can actually warp to Great Fish Isle, so it's much easier to remember by that. By that toke. By that tokey smokes. We got another platform here, too. Can't be too valuable. Pretty sure there's only like two platforms, even maybe just one platform in the game that has anything of note on it. Oh man, that's so cool. You can see, like, just barely in the distance on that island, there's a little, like... I think that's a fire. It looks like a fire. But it's just, like... It's like looking into, like, a distant cityscape, but not actually a cityscape. Like, a townscape, I guess, is what you call it. Of a very small town, and there's just, like, one light in the distance. In, on one house. And you're just sitting there wondering, like... 
what on earth is that person doing up? Like, he's the only person in the entire town that you can see. Unless there's some weirdo out there who's just sitting in the basement with his lights off or some shit. You know, fapping to... Never mind. <laughs> You're just thinking. It makes you really think, like, what would someone be doing up at this insane hour when no one else in the entire town that that person is living in is up? And then, of course, that makes you wonder, what the hell am I doing up to be able to contemplate this existential question? Like, I'm such a loser that I have to contemplate why he's up and not even, like, bother to register why I'm up. Of course, like, I guess in that scenario, you'd probably be in a car or something driving by a city. I don't know. Or, like, in a plane, I guess. That would make even more sense. la -di da Alright, finally got... Oh, see, it doesn't look nearly as pretty now, because you, you can still see the fire. Ooh, we got a treasure over there. Check that out in a second. I'm gonna have to find the fish in a second here, too. If you can't guess what this fairy island is called, like, without the fish, you might have some serious problems, because we've done Northern, Southern, and Eastern fairy islands, and now Thorn fairy island, and this one's all the way at the west side of the map. So that's right, you guessed it. This is South by Southwest, Fairy Island. It looks like you need a skull hammer for both of these arrow upgrades, so... I was... Oh man, I forgot... You know what I forgot at the last island? This motherfucker! Wow, that was actually like perfect time. I didn't even realize he'd be like right there, but... Yeah, at the other Fairy Island, there was a blue chew that I... Insipidly missed. I'm gonna sneeze! <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Anyways, last great fairy, might as well voice it. Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. And that flower is extinct now. Aww. But that's okay, because now we can carry one shy of triple digit arrows! Booyah. What a cock block. It's like all those games, like Mario games, where you can get 99 lives, but never 100. Except in Mario 64. And then, like, in Mario 3D Land, when you can get crown, crown, crown lives, or whatever the hell that is. Never beat that game. Probably should. Man, I'm starting... Now that I'm back at this, I'm starting to remember how, my comment, how much my commentary sucked. And it still sucks. Like... I just don't even know. It's just so scattershot. Is the thing. Like, if one minute I'm focused on the game, the next I'm focused on another game, the next I'm focused on cityscapes and townscapes and planes and oh my. Alright, let's, uh... Get our bait here. Oh, I doubt he has anything amazing to say about this island, but... Eh, you never know. I'll probably just say something crazy about Rock Spire Island, because that's a really cool island, and it's right next to this one, so... You gotta figure, Western Fairy Island. Dra Why are you talking about Dragon Roost, dude? You weirdo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is there even a possible way to be at this island? Uh... Oh, okay, so he's telling you about that mechanic. As if you wouldn't have figured that out by now. I mean, I suppose it's possible that you wouldn't have, you wouldn't really think to use the grappling hook on a monster, but... It just seems unlikely. They gotta teach you that at, like, some other point in the game. Alright, shoot. Man, I'm gonna mess this up now. It looked like it was here, but I don't hear any sound, unless, like, my TV volume is literally just that low. Wow! Alright. I knew I was generally good shot with trying to figure out where those things are by eye, but damn. I literally, like, I literally didn't hear a damn thing. Hmm. 200 rupees! 1532. You know what that reminds me? Since we're right next to Rockspar Island, I'm gonna go ahead and sail over that way. And, uh, well, you'll see when we get there, I suppose. 